is more for Teague and Justin because you probably experienced this. Hi guys, I've met, I've lost many friends, male and female, for supporting you guys. They're always proved, they're always trying to back up the lies and silence the truth. What do I do? Have quick. you lost any friends from? Good. Now you'll find the best one. Like they've just helped you out. They've gotten out of your life. Good. Now keep driving forward. Keep striving. You'll find the one that fits you, and you'll live a prosperous life. Anybody that thinks they have more than a handful of friends probably don't have any friends at all. Yeah, that's true. And any of your friends who are going to any of your friends who are going to instantly adhere to the slave mind program are going to be dangerous friends to have because right now it's about Andrew Tate being a bad guy. Okay, whatever, no big deal. But later it'll be about getting this injection or getting this vaccine or doing something you're not supposed to do, and they'll be peer pressuring you. I don't know if you guys saw recently. Rest rest in peace. There was the guy was Joe Aesthetics. Joe, Joe Aesthetics. Joey something. Yeah. And he had eight million followers on Instagram, and he's thirty years old, and he just dropped dead. And he's on a lot of steroids, but he's saying that he got peer pressured into taking the vaccine. Four. Four times he got peer pressured into it, and now he's literally dead. So what did we talk earlier about peer pressure and how important it is for it to be pushing you in the correct direction? And I think that your friends as a man especially should be at least inspiring bravery in you. You should at least, when I'm with my guys, I feel brave. It doesn't mean I'm reckless. It doesn't mean I'm stupid, but I certainly feel brave because I know how competent they are, and I know they have my back. So it's hard for my group, my friends to peer pressure me into an act which is guided by cowardice, like taking an injection, for example. That's cowardice. It's very hard for them to make me do something cowardly, but it's very easy for them to make me do something brave, like say, fuck it, you're strong as an ox, do some push-ups. Yeah. So you have to be very careful with the friends you have around you. If your friends are going to be so easily manipulatable that they're going to fall for everything the mainstream media says, I would say that you don't need friends like that. You need to find friends who are not like that. And then if you're sitting there and you find yourself lonely, that's because the kind of men who resist slave programming don't look at you and find you valuable. And once again, whose fault is that? That is completely and utterly your fault. It's amazing how much control and autonomy you have over your own life as a man. That's the most beautiful thing about it. I was talking to a girl the other day and she was absolutely and utterly gorgeous. And she said that, yeah, being a girl is easy. I love being a girl. And I said, I would hate an easy life. I yeah. think being a beautiful girl is easy. But to me, that sounds torturous. I can't imagine anything more mind-numbing and boring than being a super hot chick. Not to disrespect them. I'm just saying that I am so addicted and so accustomed to constant struggle and war that the idea of living without it is almost daunting to me because I don't see the point in being alive. What are you doing then? Waking up? Were you just smiling all day? Eating Happy Meals? Doing your makeup? Is that it? Where's the, where's the struggle? And this is from a man who's literally just got out of jail and is looking at a bunch more jail he doesn't deserve which is a struggle, both physical and mental. Yeah. And, and I'm sitting here going, yeah, my life has always been a struggle. It's all I've ever known. I can't imagine it being any other way. And, I, and I'm still not trying to change it. I'm not trying to retire and vanish and disappear and just live easy. It's not something I'm even interested in. It doesn't even cross my mind. Once you adopt that mindset, how can you not be successful? I have to train because if I don't, I feel too guilty to sleep. I feel dirty. I feel terrible inside if I don't train. Once you get that mindset, how, how can you lack motivation? Motivation is free and unlimited. It's discipline and purpose is more important. I believe that's when you whooped it. When, when you can get to the point where it bothers you not to train, 